This is Norman Patterson, the Yellow Jacket expert, and I'm in North Brantford, Connecticut, and I'm going to remove a yellow jacket nest from the wall of uh, V. macula fronds. Today is August 2nd, 2023, and I want to show people what it is that I do and how I do it. Um, I only do this if it really needs to be done. And I'll explain what I'm doing and uh, give people a, um, a chance to look into my world and understand what I do and how I do it organically. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around and explain different things. So what I do is I use an infrared camera and you can see that glowing spot. That's where the yellow jacket nest is. My first infrared camera cost $10,000. This is a $250 or $350 uh, FLIR camera, but that glowing spot is where the yellow jacket nest is. So I always check out where the nest is if possible. If the nest is sitting on the sheetrock, it'll have a, heat, have a heat signature, and that's what's going on with this. So that's the yellow jacket nest. I shut off my infrared camera. And the next thing I do is I test the wall and the wall is spongy. Look at it. I don't know if you could see that, but I mean, they're just, they're ready to break through. I'm surprised they have not broken through yet, but that yellow jacket nest is like just, just about broken through. So what I need to do is to get that yellow jacket nest out of the wall. And I have various techniques that I use to do that. They're all natural. Um, you know, exterminators, they'll, they'll spray on the outside in hopes that it'll get the nest. A lot of times it doesn't. A lot of times when they spray from the outside or they dust it, it drives the yellow jackets inside because they can't get out now. And so then they get desperate and they find a way oftentimes into the house. And second of all, sometimes they actually kill the nest. And in killing the nest, what they do is they create another problem is sometimes it actually kills that brood chamber and it just re <laughs> it just re remains in the wall and in the rots and so that's not a good thing so um, I try not to get them out of the wall if I don't have to I mean I feel bad for people so what I have here is a tank of co2 and uh, it's what we breathe out so what I'm going to do, and it's going to get kind of hairy in here in just a minute, but I'll, I'll keep it on. <clears throat> what I do, you'll see how thin this, uh, the wall is. I take and I put CO2 into the wall. And the reason I do that is I put it to sleep. If I opened up this wall without putting in CO2, we would have, um, you know, millions of yellow jackets inside of here. So I'm going to put them to sleep for a few moments. So here goes, watch this. You see how easy that went into the wall? That's because the yellow jackets chewed a hole into it. And so I fill that wall void up with carbon dioxide until they're all asleep. And then I open it up really fast and I pull the yellow jacket nest out of the wall. You see how now you can see just how spongy it is. I want to make sure that that's sufficiently asleep. I'll keep that available. Got a dustpan here and my phone. I could see what it is that I'm doing. All right. So now I'm going to open the wall with a knife um, and I try to move fairly quickly, but that's just all soft sheetrock. Soft sheetrock. And hopefully you can see it in there. Can you see? I don't want to take too much time to show you, but there it is. Notice they're not moving. They're not moving because of my carbon dioxide. But I need to get that out of the wall very quickly in order to not have 
a huge mess inside of this house. And so what I got is a paper bag and I'm gonna take this brood home. I hope you can see. I'll try to keep it so that you can see. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull this nest out of the wall. Here we go. I'm recording. There they are. Big nest. Grant, do you mind grabbing a vacuum for me? More brood. See how they're all asleep? They're only asleep for a few moments. Oh my goodness, this is, there are so many yellow jackets in this wall void. Okay, they're starting to wake up, so I want to get them out of here before they wake up. So now I put that in the paper bag, I'm going to take, move this, put it in the dustpan, and I'm just going to throw these outside because they're all going to wake up. Yeah, they're starting to wake up now. They're all going to wake up. I'm recording. All right, here we go. Thank you. Started to wake up. Take this dustpan out. And where's my closest plug socket? I'm going to turn on my vacuum in just a second. Plugging it in. Here we go. Now, what I need to do is close up that hole. And to close up the hole, all I need to do is uh, staple this to the wall and then I leave it to the people themselves to um, repair the wall. I'm not into sheetrock repair. Oh boy. Actually, they, these, these yellow jackets did a tremendous amount of damage. Oh boy. They just chewed into this so bad. Darn it, ran out of staples. Okay. So that's how you get rid of a yellow jacket nest.